I'm Jeannie Zindler Miles. I'm Rodney Christensen. And this is FBS, your builder's best podcast for our appliances and cabinets. Today we are with Charlie Young with Maple Distributing and Wilson <laughs> Hawkins from Perlick to, t- to talk about. You just talk. I can't talk. <laughs> okay. What Jeannie <laughs> is trying to say is we are going to talk about beer dispensers. Amen. Well, thank you uh, both for having uh, myself. I'm excited to uh, be on the phone today or uh, on the call today or podcast. I don't even know what to call it anymore. Um, <laughs> but I'm just excited nonetheless to talk about beer. Yeah, right. Just talk about some beer, talk about Perlick uh, beverage dispensers. And yeah, just excited to have a little conversation. Us too. Yeah, it's really cold up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And they uh, that's where Perlick's from is Milwaukee, Wisconsin. They know cold and they know beer. So mm-hmm. uh, th- that's why the best beer dispenser on the market is a Perlick beer dispenser. Can you explain the difference between a kegerator and a beer dispenser? A beer dispenser is for someone that really appreciates beer and understands the value of good beer. A kegerator is maybe someone more looking for the Coors Light and Bud Lights of the world. Not, not that saying there's different, guys. not that it's bad. It's well, just different levels of appreciation and uh, expectations at the end of the day. Some people are in college, some people are not. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys local for in um, Houston? I'm in San Antonio, so I'm still a Texan. So, but Wilson and yeah, Perlick is actually ways. based out of Milwaukee. Uh, my myself personally, I'm actually out here in California. Ah. So I'm the uh, regional manager, so I'm out here uh, out west uh, selling a Midwest product. So uh, you know, put a little California attitude. But no matter to it. where you are, everyone likes beer, so it's okay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Now, I'll say the thing that's different about out here in California, I get a lot more people asking. You know, we talked about kegerators and beer dispensers, but I get a lot of people asking about, well, what else can you guys dispense? I would love to be able to dispense cold brew coffee or kombucha and all these other random stuff. So I was thinking, you know, it's, <laughs> hey, if it, my attitude is if you can, disp- if it's a liquid, we can dispense it. You know, it's one of those uh, it's an entertainment brand. You know. Right. And that's kind of why, you know, we get people to think about the kegerator differently. And it's not a kegerator, not even just a beer dispenser anymore. It's so much more in the, the dispensing world than just dispensing beer nowadays. But I still prefer to talk about the beer side of the, uh, the dispensing equipment anyway, because that's the fun part. Let's be honest. You talked about how you guys were different. Is there anything like with the technology or something that stands out the most? Well, I think the biggest thing that really separates Perlick's dispensing and it's over everybody else is it's the same sort of dispensers that you would find in a stadium or a restaurant, um, those high end areas. Um, and so way I kind of, why ours are different is, you know, you can be your own at home bartender, get the same experience and results that you would at a stadium or at a restaurant when you're dispensing your beer. Um, and the way I look at it too, is if Perlix, the trusted brand in over 60% of all stadiums, new and current, um, and majority of all these high end restaurants like a, uh, Gordon Ramsay's, a Fleming, if they trust the Perlix product to dispense their beer, I feel pretty confident the customers would too. And it's because of that commercial technology, that heritage, our love and appreciation for maintaining temperature, dispensing beer at the right temperature. Um, there's a, it's just a little stuff that Perlick does that really kind of separates us and makes us unique. So like our dispensing, when, you, when you're tapping a keg with ours, it's really simple. We'll give you all the couplers, the you know, entire equipment needed to tap that keg. And it's pretty self, pretty easy to, to tap the, uh, the kegs with the couplers and things that we provide. Um, the real key when it comes to dispensing beer is maintaining the proper temperature, because if that beer is not dispensed at the right temperature, you're going to get foamy beer. You're going to get flat beer. The consistency uh, and the experience of the, be- the beer is going to be really you know, poor, at, poor at best. The Perler product, what I love and what you know, we do that really differentiates us is you know, in the tower, um, no one else blows cold air through those towers to ensure that every time you pour a beer, that beer's coming out ice cold. Do you think about a product and, you know, you guys have that Texas heat, Charlie, you could probably, uh, speak to it with some experience of an outdoor pearl kegerator sitting in, you know, the 110 Texas heat and still dispensing cold beer. Absolutely. Do yeah. we can keep beer at 33 degrees when on the 4th of July, when it's 105 degrees outside and, 85% humidity. We can we can keep mm-hmm. that beer cold. I think I think about Perlick that differentiates itself from the other brands of uh, equipment that are out there is the build quality. Perlick is mm-hmm. so 
heavily built. It is, in fact, a commercial designed product. Looking at the physical weight of the unit, it's 60 pounds heavier than its next nearest competitor. It's just really engineered to stand up. So I have a, as the rep, I have a traveling beer dispenser that I throw in the back of a pickup truck and I take it to different stores and we have events. Uh, that's Come here, just it's joking. Been, <laughs> it's been on and off the back of my truck, hauled all over Texas, uh, dozens and dozens of times, and it's still holding up and it's like uh, in, in the product is very well made. It doesn't fall apart on mm -hmm. you. It's stainless steel insides and stainless steel outsides. It just is really, really well made. So does it only come in stainless steel? Uh, the interiors on all Perlix are going to be stainless steel. Now the exteriors, mm -hmm. depending on the model that you choose, could either be a black uh, vinyl clad steel on the outside or uh, any of the outdoor beer dispensers are all stainless steel on the outside. Right. And then our signature series, our deluxe line is all stainless steel inside and outside. Correct. So is Perlick just beer dispensers? Oh, no. no Perlix carries a full range of under counter column products as well. Columns are actually a newest, um, the newest product category for us that we introduced a couple of years ago in 24 and 30 inch units. Uh, and then an under counter, I mean, we have the largest portfolio of Energy Star products as well as ADA products. And in that ADA portfolio, we also have a really unique product, which is an 18 inch shallow depth. Um, unit. Now it's not in a beer dispenser, but you know, wine reserves, mm -hmm. refrigerators, beverage centers, um, freezers, refrigeration drawers. Um, I think we have over 350 different under counter configurations um, in our products. So, way I see it is uh, if Perlick doesn't have a solution for you, there isn't a product out there for you. You know, good luck. <laughs> um, we pretty much have everything, anything. Um, and we don't make any apology to, you know, we're the top of the end of the market when it comes to price point, but you know, there's no apology for us for that because we use hydrated material to Charlie's point. Uh, and at the end of the day, it's a workhorse. Uh, it's going to last forever. Um, when I talk to people about Perlick products, you know, why do I push people towards Perlick is yeah, there's products that probably have similar features and benefits, but it's also a product that I know when someone puts in their home, it's going to be there for 15, 20 years, and it can perform beautifully the same way it did day one as it's going to in day 20. Um, I would say yeah. there's a lot of things out there for sure that you're you're paying for the name that aren't built like a tank that are going to be right. on that same kind of price level. Absolutely. So I, I can attest from my, my personal experience in selling them that they are very solid products, and yeah. the vast majority of them you're not getting stainless steel interiors we've just them. updated our warranty to be a full six-year all parts all labor guarantee so yeah. the best warranty in the business when a customer invests and it's an investment when a customer invests in a perlic it's going to last it's going to be guaranteed to last for six years that's a long yeah. time and it's not just the indoor it's indoor and outdoor so our warranty you know we cover it on the indoor and outdoor and that's the extreme elements i mean we we Help, we test our product down to below zero to over 120 degrees. So, you know, these products are built to, to withstand as much as you can throw at it. Um, but don't lose sight. We're also extremely energy efficient and energy conscious and environmentally conscious with this product too, especially with the new products that we're launching this year. We've got the new refrigerant, which everyone's made a change to. It's called R600. Um, I have no idea what that is. It's just a different type of refrigerant that the refrigeration units have to use. So it's more environmentally friendly. So uh, the kind of how they moved away from Freon, right? Correct. Oh, so so now it's, yeah. Okay. yeah. And now it's moving into what it's more of an isobutane. It's the same sort of liquid or the um, material that you would find in like a lighter, a little bit lighter. Oh, so, okay. um, but it's great because it makes the unit so much more energy efficient. And actually with this story, our products are the most energy efficient in pulling down and maintaining temperature of anyone else out in that market, indoor and outdoor, uh, which is really exciting for us. So that, that actually is a point that I really do like about Perlick because a lot of people will buy these uh, beer dispensers or wine reserves or beverage centers. Perlick comes from a commercial background. So these mm -hmm. are are they are built just like a restaurant where you need it to cool down very fast because you're right. constantly in and out of it. So it does react very quickly. Now we can take it up in a refrigerator. We can take a case of drinks that are say 75 degrees and cool them to 40 degrees in about an hour and 15 minutes. 
it's an ex- extremely fast pull down. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, not just even the, yeah, it's not even just with the pull down, but even holding that temperature and kind of going back to beer. You know, some of the biggest enemies to beer is temperature fluctuation mm-hmm. and agitation. And if our product one it pulls down temperature really quickly and holds that temperature, so you're not going to have that agitation and that fluctuation. So what's that mean to the customer? It means that their beer is going to hold up exponentially longer in a product like ours after after it's been tapped than our competitors out there. When you're talking to people who are in the beer industry, and yeah. you mention uh, uh, Perlick. They know the brand. They know that name, and they know that our faucet, which is on our beer dispenser, is a is a unique faucet that you can't get on any other brand. That's actually, dispenser. what I was going to ask about. <laughs> so it's called the Perlic Pearl Faucet. It is the most sanitary faucet on the market. See, many faucets, uh, when you pour beer through them, after you're done pouring the beer. Uh, you may have a beer tonight, you pour some beer through it. Then there's a few drops of a beer that's left inside the faucet. But you may not have another beer for a few days. Uh, when you come back, then you're going to have a little bit of mold and mildew inside the faucet. But with a perfect pearl faucet. Sounds good. Liquid that's mm, delicious. <laughs> any liquid that's in the, in the front of the faucet drains out. And then all the liquid that's in the back is held back under pressure and refrigerated. So... The other, our competition does not use Perlick Pearl faucets. It's a Perlick exclusive. And there, we have two varieties of faucets. We have one that's a flow control. So you've been to a restaurant and watched the bartender have issues pouring a beer. And they'll pour the beer and they'll watch it overflow. And they'll keep trying to pour the beer. And they're making it's making a lot of foam. And they're wasting a lot of beer. All that foam is actually just beer that's in a state of foam. So with our flow control faucet, we're able to slow the rate that the beer comes out of the faucet, allowing you to have virtually no waste of beer. If you've got a if you've got a, a keg that's unruly, you can control it with a flow control perlic faucet. And that comes standard on our signature series line of equipment. And that's yeah. another thing that makes a perlic beer dispenser different from everybody else in the market. Okay, so what you're saying is if you like mold, then we should not buy perlic. <laughs> I'm just yeah. checking with you, Charlie. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, but you know what's funny? You can say that it's that's not just legal on the dispenser, but even the interior of the units. Going back to like being sanitary, you know, a lot of outdoor and keg raters out there have plastic interior, and that is just a breeding house for mold. And any of those units that are outdoors odds are they'll have to go through and replace that unit after one year of just using it outdoors because of mold and contamination that's going to build up in those units. So having stainless steel interior, not just the interior, but even on that tap is so important. Yeah, that makes Um, sense. I didn't even think about that. When I started at Factory Builder Shores, one of the things that I learned too about under-counter appliances is that the um, vent is on the front. The grill? The the, uh, The toe cake? Well, the way it cools itself So down. she's what she's asking about is uh, built-in versus a freestanding unit. That's exactly, so. actually, that is what, Roddy's also my interpreter. Yeah, well, the nice thing about the Perlick undercounter is all our product can be either built-in or freestanding. It doesn't really matter. Oh. Um, because all of our cooling, our condensers, the evaporator compressor is all underneath. So as long as you have uh, flex or the openings there in the front for that toe kick, that unit's going to breathe and function just perfectly. Um, what I love about our products is, you know, one that has capability to be freestanding or built in is you can also put uh, like our keg grader on casters. Charlie was talking about earlier, you know, putting it on wheels and rolling it around. No. <laughs> oh, sorry, beer to set, man. You know, yay, you got me. It's, it's hard not to. It's hard not to. You know what it is? I blame the calendar invite for it because it says kegerator in my yes. notes there. So I looked at it. So I'm uh, it's not me. I'm just kidding. I keep my personal beer dispenser that's in my kitchen right now to off to my left. It's on wheels. So it rolls yeah. around. Yeah. And it's very, very You versatile. think about people that buy the perlic product or, you know, usually people that love to entertain and host parties and, you know, when that world becomes, a, when that becomes a thing again, um, you know, being able to move a keg reader around in your backyard or set up different parties. I was thinking taking it with you if you do like tailgating, tailgating and stuff like that. Yeah, what I do with mine, we have our neighborhood night out event. It's like every October and, and all the neighbors get together. I, I grew up uh, root beer mix. 
and put it into a keg. It's root beer, carbonated, mm -hmm. so and then and then I roll my beer dispenser over to the whatever house on the block that's having the party, and then put some cups out, and everybody drinks homemade root beer at the block. Well, best demos are doing root beer on tap. It's just like it makes you feel like a little kid again. Yes. That's so cute. So is there, are there accessories for that then where they're not buying the kegs from, you know, like a Specs or something like that where you can brew your own beer? And the kegs that you're going to get at Specs are commercial kegs. Mm -hmm. But if you wanted to make root beer, what you would use is a vintage Cornelius keg, which is what, in back in when I was in high school, the Coca-Cola came in kegs. It was before they invented the, the syrup in a box. You, you buy those kegs. I've got... 14 or 15 of them in my garage mm -hmm. and uh you just uh, sanitize the keg really well you you know on a stovetop you mix up your uh, pot of uh, hot water add the syrup to it with sugar or sweetener or whatever sweetener you want to use and then uh, put it into a keg chill it down carbonate it and it's it's fairly straightforward it's economical and it's a lot of fun for everybody to do everybody wants to pull the handle on the beer dispenser that's the fun part to you know that's the the, the glory uh, to just be able to dispense that first beer coming out of there. That's the glory. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, being able to that first pour, which, you know, little tip for those with a dispenser, you should never slowly open and slowly close when you're dispensing beer. You should always flick it open and flick it closed. Because what it does Why is, is it just because it, what it does, if you slowly open it, it kind of packs the line. And just think about if you slowly turn on a hose from a faucet, like kind of sprays out a lot of agitation. So if you just open up the floodgates, the beer pours out a little bit more fluid, smoother, comes out at that. The ideal speed is one gallon per per minute. Um, so that comes out at that speed. And Almost it's, as fast it's, as I drink. Right? <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's about agitation. And uh, yeah. anytime that you agitate a carbonated liquid, it's going to suds up. Take a, you, sh you, shake, you shook up a Coke and then you opened mm -hmm. it, you watched it spray off the top. It's the same thing. And it, it happens in a, in a beer. There's just mm -hmm. a lot more carbonation in a Coke than there is in beer. Mm -hmm. but, but still, if you, if, you, if you agitate that beer as it flows through the faucet, it's going to make a lot of foam. You yeah. can use that to your advantage because what you can do is you pour a beer and you want a head on the beer, then you can actually crack the faucet and pour a head onto a beer. So if you have a beer that has no head, you can easily add a beer, add a head to the beer mm -hmm. if that's the presentation you want to have for the customer. What do you mean by crack the faucet? Just oh, barely, just barely open it. Just open barely it. open it. So Most we're saying to pour. Said, don't do that. <laughs> what I'm saying is that there's a there's an <laughs> way to artificially create foam. Yeah. If like the beer is older or gone a little flat, there's ways what we call pack the lines, and all you're doing is putting more CO2, more of the gas mm -hmm. into that line to kind of artificially recreate some of that um, carbonation in the beer if it's come out from a little bit flat. All right, um, that makes sense. Yeah. So. If we owns one of the Perlake beer dispensers, I could go anywhere and buy a keg and it'll fit inside of so it. Certain kegs, because you won't be able to do like the full size big keg. It's the half barrel or one six uh, like pony type keg yeah. um, will fit the full size, you know, big old uh, full barrel That's kegs won't fit. The 16 um, gallon kegs don't fit. Correct. correct. But, but you know, the, these are not inexpensive beer dispensers. So the type of beer that our customers are pouring through is quality craft style yeah. beer. And those beers always come in a five gallon keg. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, they which don't is actually why our dual tap units are some of our more popular units, whether our standard tower or our Adara tower, which our Adara tower kind of looks like a cobra head. Um, snake and it's a really, really gorgeous looking piece. Really, uh, it's an indoor only one, but designers really love that piece. But the dual taps, you can have, you know, two really good craft beers or in a lot of situations, people do one with beer and one with either coffee or a carbonated water or something like that. So you could have two different outfits uh, in there. Just don't mix them up because those are two totally different days. Yeah, you don't want your uh, the seven year old going up there thinking it's getting carbonated water and it's throwing itself a Guinness down the stone that back. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Most of our sales are dual dispenser. Most of our beer dispenser sales have two faucets, so you yeah. might have an IPA and some sort of light beer. Now, do those for those five gallon kegs? Is that something where you fit two of them in there? Yes, two of two kegs in. Yeah. 
Yep. And it'll have and it, certain kits to plumb it for both. So you'll have, you know, the one CO2 tank and, but then it'll have the, the kit to run two different lines. It comes with everything you need. If you get yep. a dual faucet beer dispenser, yep. everything that you need to get going is, is supplied with the product. The only thing you have to do as a customer is take your CO2 bottle over to air gas or liquid gas mm-hmm. um, uh, and they will fill it full of CO2 for you. Yeah. All right, uh, so awesome. since it's freestanding, then you don't have to worry about having like anything in your house ready for it to be like hooked up to. Is that what you're saying? Well, yeah. If it's a, if you're going to have a freestanding, as I have it in my house, it just sits. I've got mine on casters, and it just sits in. There's nothing. Just got to have a spot on the floor for it to live, and, and mm-hmm. you're good to go. Uh, we do get customers occasionally that think they can buy, you know, the the cheapo five hundred dollar under counter, you know, just dorm fridges and install them under uh, just a countertop. Generally speaking, the built-in units have the grill on the front, and that is purely so it avoids any overheating issues. Yeah, a lot of the competitor, a lot of other brands, or not a lot, but a few of the brands that aren't designed to be under a counter will have their exposed like coils on the back, Mm -hmm. or it's not specific, like it'll tell you freestanding only, never, because it has to have plenty of space for it to cool. With our units, you can have them tucked in there you know, stuff really nestled up against it to where it's near, you know, quarter inch um, reveal on either side, or it's free sand and wide open space. I mean, it's mm-hmm. pretty, pretty smooth. And now Perlix not like a, as far as the cooling, it's not like just a cold plate back there, right? It's not, no, no, it's a fin, it's a fin coil and it has a lot of surface area to it. A beer dispenser doesn't pull out cold air. What it does is it absorbs heat. So the bigger your coil is, the more surface area it has, the more efficient it is at absorbing mm-hmm. heat. And you couple that with a large compressor. So our compressor sizes are going to be anywhere from 800 BTU on our C-series to 1,000 BTU on our signature series. So we're able to move a lot of refrigerant through a large coil and rapidly absorb the heat. That's why we cool so much faster than everybody else on the market. And it's, you know, it's funny as you talk about the B2s, when I, before I joined Perlick, I never talked about refrigeration B2s. It was always cooking B2s, right? So in a lot of people's minds, they don't conceptualize refrigeration B2s. What are you talking about? Well, it's because they don't have a story to talk about. But with the Perlick and that BTU story, it really goes back to the, you know, we pull that hot, hot air out, we maintain temperature, we pull it down to temperature, and which ultimately means the customer is going to be exponentially happy with the happier with the product. Because do you want the product to look cool or do you want it to keep things cool? Um, and ours does both. Give an idea of BTU. A famous competitor of ours in a 24-inch wide beer dispenser would have a 290 BTU compressor. We have a 1,000 BTU compressor. So you can just in the compressor itself, you can see how much faster we're going to absorb the heat. So and that's why I would say that go back, I said earlier in the call is that, you know, we're unapologetic about where we sit in the marketplace and the price point that we have because you're really getting the best quality, best built. And when we say commercial grade, it's not just a, a word we throw around. I mean, you're legitimately getting that commercial grade type product uh, at the end of the day. Yeah, that's very evident. For sure. My husband wants us to get um, a beer dispenser. So this was a self-serving podcast episode for me to learn about um, everything. But we actually have a consumer program that kicks off um, next month, April 5th, uh, where you can earn up to $600. before National Beer Day. (laughs) Yeah. So uh, up to $600 off Signature Series or in a mail-in rebate um, if you purchase a Signature Series undercounter product. And the so, signature uh, series is the one that you guys were saying that comes with that Pearl, Pearl Lake faucet? It's, it's got the flow control um, tap, yes. The signature series has that one, correct. How yeah. many different series are in so, um, the beer dispensers? We have two different series, the C series and the signature series. C series is more of the, we'll actually call it, it's really more aligned with the commercial line. It's very de- It's more de future, doesn't have the upgraded lighting smaller compressor um, and doesn't have like in the indoor or the outdoor one doesn't, or that indoor one, excuse me, doesn't have the stainless steel uh, wrap side. Um, but in, and then in the, the still the same standard tower and it doesn't have the flow control. So the signature series 
truly is the the product really actually is the product that if you're a beer aficionado and you're really passionate about dispensing beer and you're really particular signature series needs to be the one that you go for because of that control and uh, flexibility that you have with it. Um, but if you're just, you love beer, you have a passion for it, but you still can, I don't really need all the, that stuff on the dispensary. The C series one really hits it home standard tower. Um, I mean, it's the same ones we use on the commercial side. So it's just a, an absolute champ. So. I feel like on that note, should we all say what our favorite beer is that we would want Ooh. to be drinking out of these? <laughs> or at least right now, what beer do you have loaded in your beer dispenser now? I, uh, so right now would be hazy IPA via Sierra Nevada. Big fan of those. Yeah. Uh, and Sierra Nevada is in my kind of backyard being up here in Northern California. So, uh, oh you know, I'm a, a little biased to them at times, but I'm I also love all beer. So I have bust, I have busted sandal Oktoberfest still in mine. Oh my you know, gosh. Oktoberfest. <laughs> yeah. It's been a while. Uh, and I also have the seven two six uh, um, light American lager from Busted nice. Sandal Brewing in San Antonio. So I, 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 I'm pouring craft beer out of mine. But if I were to go to something, uh, uh, St. Arnold's Fancy Lawnmower I, is a really good I one. like Lawnmower, too. I'm a, then, I'm a Hefeweizen bro. I like Live Oak Hefeweizen. That's Carbock, my favorite. Then Carbock has a similar beer. It's a Kolsch-style beer. Those are really good beers to use. I can't yeah. remember the name of it, though. Okay. What about you, Rodney? I'm a big fan of the the double IPAs. So the St. Arnold's Endeavor or Rodeo Clown with Carbock, yeah. basically any IPA. I'm a big fan of the Juicy Hazy IPAs too. I yeah. love Rodeo Clown, but I apparently get mean when I drink it. So I'm not really? allowed to drink Rodeo Clown. <laughs> <laughs> that is too funny. Too funny. Well, thank you gentlemen so much for doing this. Is there anything else pleasure. that you want us to mention and make sure people really get a point across? I want to make sure that you know, we my, sung all the praises needed. My one pro tip to those out there uh, when it comes to your beer dispensers is every time you replace a keg, clean your line. That's a really good tip. That is a actually. thank you. <laughs> You'd be surprised yeah, on here. how long people go without cleaning their beer lines and it's disgusting. So. Charlie, it's been since October <laughs> for you. Right? Well, no, it's, it's, <laughs> do it when you, when you change out the keg. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I really appreciate you guys having us on here and uh, the chance to talk a little bit about beer dispensers and, and the mm -hmm. Perlick product. So I really appreciate the time. Well, you can see Perlick beer dispensers in my territory. In in Austin, we have a beer dispenser on display mm -hmm. at Factory Builder Stores. And in San Antonio, we also have a beer dispenser with the Adara Tower on display mm -hmm. in, our, in our San Antonio location. And now that baseball season kicks off, the Texas Ranger Stadium uh, got all redone with all Perlick um, beer systems and oh, wow. other suites out outfitted with a lot of Perlick under counter. So there should be Perlick product in that suite. And if there are, make sure you snap some photos. Uh, yes, definitely. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks so much, guys. I really yeah, appreciate you. it. And appreciate uh, it. that has been FBS, your builder's best podcast for our appliances. And cabinets. And that was Charlie Young with Maple Distributing and Wilson Hawkins with Perlick. And that is our episode on Like beer. and subscribe. Ding the bell. Thanks for listening. Yeah. We appreciate it, guys. Yeah. Uh, thank you.